sign extension this is representing a number using more bits let's say we have value which is less than 32 bit and we are uh, we are dealing with architecture which is 32 bit that means the value cannot be less than 32 bit so in this case what would we do we extend the value we extend the value so that it can be represented in the 32 bit but without changing the actual numerical value now how we do, do this as the name suggests sign extension as the name suggests sign extension so we need to consider the sign of the original value if this is a positive value then what we do when you are extending we put zeros in the extended bits just uh, so this keeps the uh, numeric value same again if the value is a, a negative value then what we do we put one in the uh, extend, uh, extended bits this again keep the numeric value same but makes the original value 32 bit which can be which can now be used in a various arithmetic operation or any other operation where numeric value is required but you need to remember or we need to remember that when we are dealing with values numeric values the value has to be 32 bit it cannot be less than 32 bit any values that is less than 32 bit we need to extend it depending on its sign we need to put 0 or 1 in the extension bit, but we need to make it 32 bit. If we cannot make it 32 bit, then we cannot use it for our own purpose. In, uh, uh, this, this is used in uh, add i where we, uh, we use numerical value. So uh, this value, let's say I write something like this, add i, uh, let's say t0, uh, t1 and 5. So we'll see this value uh, the, in this field, we can have a value which cannot be, cannot go beyond 16 bit. But again, this, this operation will go into an ALU and a, the, these two values, not operation, these two values will go into an, uh, uh, go into an ALU and then this operation will be performed. Now, this is T1, which will uh, hold 32 bit value and this is uh, 5, which is, uh, which cannot go more than 16 bit so we need to make this this 5 5 uh, go to 32 bit so we need to make this uh, uh, we need to convert this uh, represent as a representation of 32 bit value which means the uh, 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 5 is like this uh, 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 so uh, this is our 5 so we need to represent it into 32 bit. That means since this is positive, we need to put all zeros here. We need to put all uh, zeros. So this is our 32 bit value. So with this 32 bit, we can add whatever in, uh, we have inside T1 because we know the, the value that is inside T1 is also 32 bit and we can perform this addition. Now there is uh, there are a few other instructions which, is, which are new. One is uh, this one. Uh, a, Low LB which is load byte and L8 which is load half what load byte as the name suggests byte that means it will load the byte but which byte it will load the LSB byte that means LSB 8 bit of a value and this is uh, this is again half word which half word uh, in this case our word size is 32 bit so in this case it will load first 16 bit and these are branch instruction branch equal to this is branch equal to and this branch not equal to. You can also see the example here. Representing instructions. Instructions are encoded in binary. We'll have this later in this uh, discussion, uh, how we can represent the instructions or, uh, or should I say how we can encode the instructions. Till now we are only discussing how we can represent our high level code into assembly instruction that we have or MIPS gives us, but our final objective would be to convert those instructions or those assembly instructions into equivalent machine instructions, but that le that's later. Uh, MIPS instructions uh, encoded as 32 bit, uh, so when we are encoding, we need to encode, encode it at 32 bit uh, instruction words, smaller number of formats encoding operation code, like, uh, so uh, there is regularity and the register numbers we already have seen. These are temporary registers. These are all temporary registers and the numbers are there from 8 to 15, 24 to 24, 25 and then with S. So these are the numbers that we will be using. 
why only these registers are given here or why not the other registers because these are the registers that we will be frequently using some other registers are already also there but they are as i said previously that they are for some special purpose for example register like stack pointer they are uh, uh, these register this register is used for pointing to the stack register such as a02 register a3 this these registers are used for passing arguments so uh, uh, but other than that these registers these registers we can use for our uh, uh, for uh, converting high level code into uh, assembly code so in those uh, uh, when we are converting when we are making those conversion if we need then we can use this stack pointer and and other registers now in mif we have different instruction formats and they have different names uh, one is art art type then uh, we have i type and we have j type so what is art type as the name suggests this is register type so for example add is art type instruction as if you can remember we have source and two uh, sorry we have one destination which let's say uh, one register and then two and the register three all of them are uh, inside the register file that's why it's called art type instruction register instruction now when we are encoding we need to uh, identify which bit represents what uh, this is 32 bit this is uh, from here to here, from here to here, this 32 bit, this is 32 bit, so 32 bit is there. Now, which bit represents what? Uh, the first six bit uh, represents the opcode. Just remember that for all instructions, this, this, uh, its first means MSB six bit represents the opcode. Just remember that for all instruction type, it, uh, R type, I type, J type, for all instruction type, this opcode uh, is the MSB 6 bit and then RS which is source 1 uh, and then RT which is source 2 and RD is the destination SHAMT this is shift amount if there is any shifting is done then we need to put the value in this case and then uh, we have function there are functions associated with it especially we only with R type instruction so this function uh, has 6 bit and that is the LSB 6 bit so this is our our uh, 32 bit so again if i repeat it again opcode uh, this is our opcode so it has a specific code each each operation or each or uh, each uh, opcode has specific code and they are of six bits so they would go here then source one this is our source one this is uh, this is our source one and source two this is this is our source two so this will go here and rd this is our destination so this will go here and shift amount since in this case in, in in case of add operation there is no shifting so we'll have all zeros here and then we have functions uh, so this is how this uh, in, uh, this uh, breakdown works this is how we put values here now uh, to make you understand let's say um, uh, for uh, just remember one thing when uh, this is for art type this is for art type remember one thing that for art type the opcode field always remains zero for art type opcode will always be zero so six zeros will be there and if i encode this one for uh, for uh, your understanding our source is two and three so we'll, uh, source one is two so let's say zero zero uh, zero one zero this is two and then three zero 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 one one and our destination is uh, one so it's zero 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 one and there is no shifting so all of them will be zero okay now comes to function you do not have to rem remember what is the value of this function because it will be given in the question or somewhere where you can uh, see uh, the value but you do not have to memorize it since i do i cannot recall what is the value of this function let's put this so this is the 32 bit representation of this add instruction this is how uh, we encode it this is uh, the, uh, this part this part is our assembly representation and this binary 
representation, this binary representation is our uh, encoded format. You can also see uh, what I just explained, what bit, uh, which part represents what, you can also see here. In this slide, let's see an art type example. We, again, uh, this is this is our art type format, which is of code RS, RT, RD, shift, and function. Of code and function, they are of six bit, and RS, RT, RD, and shift, they are of five bits in total. They they have, uh, have uh, thirty two bits. Let's say we have this example, which is add T not is uh, S one S two. T0 is our destination, S1 is our source 1 and S2 is our source 2. These are all names. To encode, we need number of these registers. We, when we are discussing register file, we have seen that these, these registers, they have names as well as they have numbers. They, are, uh, they have a number starting from 0 till 31. So since we have 32 registers in our register file, so we have these are the numbers. So the, all these registers, they have their own number. If we do not know the number, we need to have those numbers. Otherwise, we cannot encode them. So just uh, break this encoding a, a bit. So this is our special uh, means this is where the opcode will go. And then this is our uh, destination, uh, sorry, source one. And this is our source two. And this is our destination. Since there is no, in the add instruction, there is no shifting, so we'll put a zero and the function for the add. And this special means, since this is art type instruction, we already have mentioned in the slide that this is art type instruction. And we already also have mentioned that for art type instruction, this special means all zero. All of them will be here, all of them will be a zero. That means we'll have six a zero in, in this special field. Now let's enco a, a go one bit further. So we put a zero here uh, since we know that all the six bits will be zero here. And then uh, S1, if we if we see the manual, then we would see the S1 is register number 17, S2 is register number 18, and T0 is register number 8. And we have zero here and add the uh, function of add is 32 bit. Now the job is straightforward. So we know that this opcode will hold 6 bit is 0, so this is our 6 bit 0. 17, we just convert it into 5 bit binary. 18, we convert it into 5 bit binary. 8, we convert it into 5 bit binary. And 0, we convert it into 5 bit zeros. And 32, we convert 32 into 6 bits. So this entire uh, encoding is of 32 bits. So this is what uh, we get. This is the value that. This is the encoding uh, value that we get from uh, this is the encoding value that we get from here and this represents this one represents this add instruction and just to make it a bit small we can we can also represent it in hex notation so we all know how to do this hex notation or how to represent this in hex notation we take four bit uh, we, ta we take four bits from here we take four bits and we represent them. For example, this is zero and this is one, two, three, four, this is two, and so on. This is how this X bit comes up. Okay.